Hey everyone, so welcome back to my podcast episode. On today's episode, we're talking about anything, everything. So before I start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button and everything. And before I start, I'm wearing my Just Strong. Um, if you can see it, my Just Strong. Um, they do carry um, plus size if you want to use my code. It's all linked down below. I got it all linked down below yesterday. Um, so let's begin. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is what keeps me motivated and what's not keeping me motivated and what I'm struggling with and pretty much and anything and everything because like I usually stick to one topic and today I am not so if you hear any noises in the background that is my son or the dogs or the wind in the back or pretty much anything and everything um so yeah it's just the family so the problems I'm having is that's not keeping me motivated is um just trying to get up uh, every morning out of bed and trying to do it all um and that is the hardest thing for me like i have adhd so it's very hard for me to do things and keep on the task that i'm supposed to do so vlogging every day um vlogging the weekend like i put a vlog up on monday and it was like sorry that's just my um camera so um vlogging every day and things like that it was it's just hard for me because like i i gotta do one thing or i'm editing videos for my sister jenna who has a youtube channel i'll especially link that down below but um i'm just trying to get back on it i don't know how to explain i'm just trying to get back on track and that's the thing the other thing is that i really don't know how to explain it on what keeps me motivated and what doesn't I did sign up for an app called um, Wisdom where I can listen to people doing a podcast um, guest appearance, which is awesome. Um, if you like it, go check it out. Um, but yeah, like, um, what doesn't keep me mo Like, I can't keep myself motivated. I can't, and I'm struggling with that. Like, I'm even struggling to go out and work out. I'm struggling with just trying to do everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And it's just hard. Like, this past week, like Wednesday, I had to deal with some stuff. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was, I've was i been dealing with some stuff. Um, I had to apply for a new vehicle because my car got written off. So I finally got that dealt with and I got a car for next Friday to be picked up. And all of that stuff I've been dealing with and I just have lost track of what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm supposed to be doing is um, doing my podcast, getting that all ready, um, vlogging and everything. So I've had a lot of things going on. Um, you know, and the other thing is, is that I've been just trying just to relax. Um, the kids go back to school soon. My daughter starts grade seven. I'm very nervous about that. <laughs> really nervous. But, you know, it's just, um, things like that that's been going on. But the other thing is, is that with my ADHD, I have trouble concentrating. I'm a, I say I'm going to do something and I don't do it. I get sidetracked on doing something else. Like just sitting here is very hard for me because I can't keep still. I like my mind's racing. I gotta go do something else, stop this and and, and everything. But this is I'm focusing on this right now, which is really good for me. But um, you know, just doing all of that is it's hard. But at the same time, there's no excuses. There's none whatsoever for me not to be able to do it. I'm hoping in September that I'll be able to go back and do the trails that I have been doing. Um, that I started, I started a series on my YouTube channel, my Lee Vlogs, where I am been doing, um, trails and I had to stop doing them because I didn't have a vehicle to go and do any of them. We were, I was in the midst of doing Orangeville, um, trails, which is awesome. I got that. I, I think I have one more to do in that area and then I'm done that area, but then I can go back in without filming and, um, do it all without the camera and just concentrate on walking. So I will, I'm hoping to do that after the kids start school on the 7th or the 6th of September. Um, the other thing is just trying to, if you hear that, it's my dog. Um, just trying to get back on track with everything. Like I said, I've started reading um, more often. I have a book that I'm going to be reading about ADHD. It's called The 2.0. Um, I'm trying to do, um, I'm trying to read so many books in a month and it's just sidetracking and, and, and everything like that. It's just, it's just what I do. I get sidetracked and I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Like I said, um, just been not in the mood to do anything too. Um, been going through a funk, um, a depression funk, 
um, just not wanting to do nothing. Um, just have a lot on my mind too, but at the same time, just trying to get that all done and situated and get that, like, I'm, I'm going to try to, like, I want to do a to-do list. I, like I said on the last thing, I am trying to do, um, a to-do list and everything like that. I want to start going back on the treadmill because some of the, um, trails that I have done are well advanced and everything like that. And it's like, yeah, like, what do you to do, right? So... I want to, so, because I got to work on my breathing, because when I go up a, a hill, I, 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 I got, I'm gasping for air, so it's like, yeah, but, um, that's the big issue that I'm having, it's just not being motivated, struggling, um, saying I'm going to do something, but I don't do it, that is the major, major problem I'm having right now. And if you see me looking over there, it's because I have my phone going for my vlog for Monday. So I'm just, I'm just baffled. I, I would love to have guest appearances on my podcast to talk about the struggles that everybody else has. Um, I would love to talk to you guys about it and see what, how you guys deal with it and everything like that and be able to, sorry, that's my computer, um, be able to understand how you guys deal with it and maybe try the, some of the, in, the tasks that you guys do to keep yourself concentrated on task of what you're doing and what you're supposed to be doing. And I, I'm just having problems. I'm, I'm, I'm having difficulties with it. Like, you know, I, I sit on my bed and I watch YouTube all the time and it's like going, Oh, I just gotta be doing this, but I don't want to do this. I just want to watch YouTube or I'm just too tired and I just want to go to sleep and I just want to go to bed instead of doing all that stuff right and that's the problem i'm having is i know i need to do it and i have to do it so yeah like it's it's really hard but there's no excuse like i'm gonna keep saying through this episode there's no excuse but i've had some good things go on in my life in the last week is that i got a new car coming next week um i have and it's on a loan unfortunately which is okay um i you know my kids go back to school in two weeks. The rental goes back next week. I'm hoping to do a, a tour of it this week, this weekend, before I take it back. And everything, like, I just have so much going on. I want to do, uh, I want to get a new picture for my YouTube channel logo. I want to be able to do a new picture for my podcast logo um, and everything like that. And be able to um, put that all together and get that out there so that I can get more listens and get more views, get more subscribers, get it all. Because I know that that's the problem. I am working on my thumbnails, which is really good. But I'm struggling to figure out on how to, like, I know I should be taking pictures through my videos to, to put on my, to put on that. But I'm just learning on how to use my camera that I have right now, um, my EOS one and the Canyon one that I bought I, almost a year ago. I've had it almost for a year and everything like that. So yeah, like it, it's it's really hard. I should stop using the word hard and just say, you know, it's difficult for me to do it. But the thing is about this is that I have, I did a podcast on Sunday and I was supposed to do it on Friday and today's Friday. So I'm doing this episode today on Friday on August the, I think today's the 26th. Yeah, today's the 26th because tomorrow's the 27th. So I'm trying my best to do it all on the on the days I'm supposed to be doing and and videos are supposed to be going up on Mondays and Wednesdays for my leave vlogs Sundays is my book channel and then my fitness channel is supposed to be Tuesday and Thursday and I haven't done anything for that in like seven days and seven weeks or three weeks I think it is but that's what I mean like it's very difficult for me to keep on track so it's like okay well I want to talk about my weight loss journey and I and the last time I weighed myself I was 247 which is really good so I fluctuate between 247 and 255, and I'm hoping to lose up to two. I'm hoping to get to 239, so that I can get away from the 250. But it's gonna, it's, it's gonna take time. It's not an overnight process, and that's all to it. But yeah, like um, like I was saying, like it's very difficult um for me just to be able to sit here and talk to you guys because like I feel like I gotta go do something, and I talk with my hands all the time. So I hope you're okay with that. But that's part of. Um, having, I think ADHD, which I have, I've had it since I was a kid. I was diagnosed with it when I was four years old and I've had it since then. It's, it's not something you get rid of. 
and it's something that is with you your whole life as an adult as an adult as my as an adult with it um i have a lot of problems with it like going into la la land that's what i call it but dozing off um just staring at staring you think someone you, they think you're staring at them but you're not you're you're just zoning you're zoned out and and that and i'm just trying to learn how, how to deal with my ADHD but at the same time I would love to talk about it with somebody who has ADHD who goes through the exactly same things I go through in everyday life with struggling to just to do everything um I would love to do an episode mainly about ADHD and talk about it and how I'm dealing with it and how I cope with my ADHD and what I do to help myself and be able to maybe to teach other people that you know and learn from other people too and everything like that on what they do but am i on medication for it no i choose not to take the medication and that's all to it i don't want to take it i don't have to take it but i am trying to like i have i have um elastic bands like you see right here and i'm trying to come up with and the other thing is i want to start a series on my youtube channels one on my fitness channel where um where I can um, where I can um do a series on my weight loss journey, on my workouts that I do, on the food I eat, um, the drinks I drink, you know, the shakes, the the protein shakes I drink, all of it. Like I'm, I'm I want to do all of that, so I'm trying to figure that all out and on how to do it, and then you know trying to figure out what kind of workouts are the best to start off with. Would it be um resisting bands um workouts? Would it be um cardio? Would it be lifting weights um going on the treadmill like i'm trying to figure that all out at the same time trying to figure out other things on what to do and yeah i got books i can write the ideals down and i do have a book that i write ideals down for videos that i want to do and one of them is a nuvu vlog which i'm hoping to move soon but i'm trying to do all that trying to figure that all out but at the same time trying to vlog le on leave vlogs get vlogs up there i want to do uh, more I want to, I, this whole month of September, when September comes back, I want to do a lot of um, trails to get that all caught up so I can get caught up on that series. In October, I want to do some trails too. And wherever I decide to move, I want to do trails there because it's probably going to be one of the big cities and everything like that, right? So yeah, like I'm trying to do all that. But plus I'm trying to um, get other people to get secure. I want you know, would love to have that on my podcast is where people come on and talk to me about their journeys, their struggles, their, their issues that they have, what they're going through, their mental health. You know, I, I want to talk about that and I want to be able to do all that stuff and, you know, and be able to maybe give some advice out to some people on how to deal with it and how I deal with it. Like when I get very stressed out, I, I have to be left alone. Like I can't just be, um, I can't be bugged on like I feel when I get when people come at me and at me and at me I feel like I'm being over um sorry I feel like I'm being over um I feel overwhelmed and when I feel overwhelmed I feel like I'm gonna be um I'm gonna blow up and I know I'm not gonna blow up but I, I have to walk away from the situation and when you have someone at you and at you and at you with ADHD and you have ADHD um, and you're that let me just feel like you get very overwhelmed and you get to the point where you just don't want to be around anybody you just want to be by yourself and you want to think and you just want to go leave me alone and that happens to me a lot with my 15 year old son he's always at me and I love him but he needs to stop and leave mom alone when she feels overwhelmed and everything and I know that's typical of 15 year old boys but at the same time it's like yeah, like, you know, they need to, they need to learn on how to, you know, they need to learn how to, um, do it themselves and everything. Sorry. And that, and, um, pretty much it. Like, you shouldn't have to, um, sit here and sit there and say, hey, no, like I say no all the time. No, I can't do this. No, I can't do that. And then he comes at me, like he not comes at me then he comes to me and talks to me again about it and it's like well, no I can't and then he comes back and, and then I get started to feel overwhelmed and I feel like I'm gonna blow up and I feel like I'm gonna start 
yelling and I don't want to and it happens to be when I start yelling he just walks away so he leaves me alone after that but you know I I'm, I'm trying to do all this stuff but I don't need him at me when I'm trying to do all this stuff so yeah like that is one of the most difficult things of having a 15 year old boy and I have a 12 year old daughter who is about to start grade 7 and she um yeah she's <laughs> she's pretty much um She's, she's starting grade 12, she's starting grade 7, and she's trying to come into herself um, on the way she wants to dress, on the way she wants to be. Like, she got a pixie cut the, on the 20th of this month, and she didn't like it. And like I was saying on my last podcast episode, is that she didn't like it. And she made a big deal out of it uh, about it when we were out doing school shopping. And she took, you know, she just didn't like it. She says, Mom, this is not the cut I want, or any of that stuff. And everybody was telling her well I like your haircut I like your haircut and I'm like going thank you because she feels so self-confident she feels um she doesn't feel that she she looks good with the haircut but she does and I like the haircut on her so I don't care what anybody has to say but like I said like um pretty much a lot of things have been going on I've been dealing with a lot so that's why I get sidetracked and and everything like that and um Sorry, that's my computer keeps going off and on. So it's like I have to um, remind her that it's on. But like I was saying, like it's it's difficult, but at the same time, I know there's no excuse for it. I should be working out. I should be trying to lose the weight. I should be making life changes. I should be making proper choices in life. I should be doing all of that stuff. But I'm just not. Because, it, like I said, it takes a lot for me to talk about my learning disabilities ADHD because like I don't really like talking about it because it's not because I'm ashamed of it it's just because I don't know what other people are going to say about it because it's like things that people say do matter to me and I just don't want people saying well you're 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 saying something wrong or you're not you're not right or or something like that it, it's it's just totally wrong so now that I'm have the courage and I've come up with the confidence of talking about my ADHD, you more likely will hear a lot about it on my episodes, on my podcasts. Um, I hope you come back to listen to more about it on the difficulties that I'm having in my life with having ADHD um, and how I'm dealing with it and how am I coping with it. But I hope that you can take from me talking about this understanding that you're not alone, that you're dealing with it, that I'm, I'm trying to help you understand and we all are, and I think everybody who is talking about it is trying to make you understand on, I'm trying to help you understand on what it's like to have ADHD. And attention hyperactive disability, that's what it's called. I went for blood work, I've gone for testing, all of it when I was a child to figure out how my, my left side of my brain doesn't work properly, but my right side does. So, yeah, that's the other thing that's wrong with me. I My left side doesn't work properly, and my right side does. So, I have memory loss in the midst of it, too. But, I'm just saying, like, you... You gotta understand where I'm coming from in this whole aspect. Like, I don't like talking about my learning disabilities. I don't like talking about what's wrong with me. I talk about my thyroid condition that I have because... I was diagnosed with it years, like maybe four years ago, I was diagnosed with it and I've been taking medication ever since. Like I don't like needles, so I have to go get my blood work done and I don't even like go and get blood work done. So I have to do that. But I'm just saying like, you could take from what I say or you can just listen to me and everything like that. And, um, sorry, that was my phone. Um, and be able to learn from what I've gone through and and people with ADHD has gone through. It's very difficult to sometimes function during the day. But if you um if you just believe in yourself you can get through it and if you just not let anybody bug you you'll be fine and pretty much and just concentrate on what you want to do. I have an issue with concentrating. I am, um, I say I'm going to do something and I don't do it. And that's pretty much it. And if I'm blabbing, I'm sorry, but it's just, I don't really know what to talk about on these episodes on my podcast. 
and this is me just talking about everything and anything that's going on in my life so this is the struggles of me trying to lose the weight but plus trying to live my life in peace and if i'm moving around like this this is because i can't sit still that's for the video but i just want to say is that i'm happy that you guys listen and you guys download it and that you guys watch it and i hope it helps you know that i am going through the struggles like you guys are going through um i have been going through struggles my whole life with my learning disabilities i have been going through struggles for a long time i do have mental health problems but i have a tendency of keeping everything in and not letting it out so this is the way i'm gonna do it is i'm very much struggling with trying to lose the weight and trying to accept who i am trying to accept the way my body looks i don't like the way i look um there's i'm trying to have body i'm trying to have body positivity i'm trying to you know all that i am but i'm having difficulties with it but at the same time i'm just like going what am i supposed to do you know but anyhow i want to thank you guys for listening and this seems like it's a 20 minute 21 minute um video or 20 minute one minute um podcast episode but if you like this thank you keep listening um you seem to be coming back and i want to thank everybody for coming back um but yeah like if you hear a noise in the back that's my can't my it's my computer me turning it off and on because it's like dozing off but I'm going to let you guys go and I love you guys and please take care of yourselves and and have a good day and have a good night. Um, have a good weekend. Long weekend's coming up. That's next weekend. And the kids will be back in school before we can say adios or Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Technically. So thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button. And hit the notification button. And um, as for my podcast, please download it and subscribe and listen and i hope you guys are gonna like it all and yeah oh yeah and i'm um, going over to my sister's channel and because she wants to start a podcast on books and check her out because she reads a lot and she likes reading she can read about seven books in one month and she's pretty good at it so go check it out i edit her videos all the time for her and i hope you like it thank you for watching and thank you for listening